Well, hello and welcome back to Iowa Gold Prospectors. Uh, tonight, uh, gonna open up two packages and tell you a little bit about what I got in the mail today. I was kind of excited uh, when I was told that uh, I had a package uh, at the front counter at work. Let out a whoo! -hoo. Anyhow, let me turn the phone around. Show you what I got. So I got one big box from Infinity Prospecting out of Canada. Even with the uh, trucking uh, fiasco, whatever the hell's going on up there, I'm not quite sure. And I got me a package from Amazon. This showed up here within two days. This puppy took nine days. All right. Uh... I gotta go get a knife. I'll be right back. We'll get this this baby open, and then I'll show you what's in the Amazon package. All right, I'm back. Got my cutting device. Oh, uh, let's see. Open this up. All right, so. What this is, it's in a electrostatic case. I oh, can't cut it open. Just a minute. Damn it. Damn thing. Get up. All right. So, what this is. That's funny, I got a little something or another here. Um, this is just a DC uh, motor controller. Pretty simple. What you have is um, you run your um, so you you run uh, two wires right here to your motor and you got two wires coming in from your battery. And the switch on here is is not something that I'm going to be using, but it's a uh, it's a motor brake. Uh, it's either a it's motor brake and it's a possible reverse switch. Uh, I'm not going to run that. I'm just going to leave that alone. All right. So that's that's going to be for the use of this and probably either my uh, Johnson. Uh, let's see. This is a. I know you can't see it, but it's. This is 2,200 gallons an hour, and I probably won't run it with the beast here, but this is 4,000 gallons per hour. Now, I just picked up four batteries um, here about two weeks ago. They're uh, uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, and I picked them up from a uh, battery, a used battery source online. It's... Uh, uh, I, can't, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I'll leave it down in my description. Um, I went on there and, um, they had four, uh, 12 volt, 32 amp hour batteries, uh, for sale for, it was like $275. Uh, and it's a company out of, uh, Pennsylvania. They get, uh, uh, they buy, um, items and, uh, extract the, uh, the batteries out of them. And if you went to their, uh, their main page every once in a while, they come up with some, all of their stuff on there is really good deals. 
Uh, I think it's, I think their site is mainly for, um, off grid people. You can build your own, uh, uh, batteries, um, or you can build a quite, quite sizable bank. Um, and I frequent that page every once in a while. They'll have a, a already made up, uh, commercialized, uh, battery 12 volt at, uh, di different, uh, amp hour ratings. And if, if you're not familiar uh, with it, um, amp hour is what you really want to go with. This, um, this, uh, this bump of mine, uh, let's get it out so it focus. Um, so it's a, it's a bilge pump. It pumps 2,200 gallons uh, per hour. And you see that it says 1,900, but that is... Um, with three foot of head so three foot of height basically now underneath the tape right here you can see it says uh uh amperage is is 7.5 amp at uh 12 volt so if you're if you want if you have a pump like mine and it has an amp hour or amp rating on it uh what you want to do is you want to find a battery with a uh, amp hour rating and that uh uh the the four batteries that i have uh this pump will run uh it will run what the hell will it run it it will run um just a little bit more than four hours on on one of these batteries and the battery um weighs like eight pounds it's awesome that's mainly why I bought those uh, lithium iron lithium iron phosphate. Um, super light, a lot of power. All right, so I, I just wanted to show you the uh, the type of battery I bought. So so this battery right here, I bought four of these. Um, it's it's twelve point eight volts at thirty two amp hour. Um, <clears throat> it's a, uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. And I wanted to show you the traditional battery. <clears throat> what the difference is between these two is actually roughly the same size. This battery is eight pounds. This battery is 18 pounds. So... I'll probably have this in a bucket or in my pack. It's just a, if you do a lot of hiking, you, you hike in, would you rather have a battery that's close to 20 pounds or a battery that's eight pounds? Um, the output, there is, there is an equation that you can run that will tell you how long you can run on a uh, cold cranking amp um, <clears throat> versus uh, amp hour. Amp hour is just pretty simple. It's just uh, basic math. You take the uh, amperage um, requirement to run your uh, device and you divide it by amp hour. And that will give you run time. And uh, cold cranking amps, there's kind of a... There's kind of an equation, um, not so accurate um, because it's amp hour and cold cranking amps. They're two different things. But I just wanted to show you the battery that I got compared to uh, your average uh, lawnmower battery. And when I bought bought this, I wanted to make sure that it had. Um, I had two different uh, versions of this battery. I could have bought one with uh, 280 cold cranking amps or 350. 350 would give me a longer run time. And the nice thing about these batteries is you'll have a uh, high rated uh, voltage up to a certain point and then it just uh, dramatically drops off. Uh, this, um, I ran this with my big pump uh last summer and it did pretty good but you could notice the uh the the drop in voltage 
um, and it just it would run for a period of time. It just seemed like it dropped uh, output, and then it would run, and then it would drop. Uh, you won't get that with this. This will uh, maintain a, uh, a high voltage for, for a length of time, and then it drops off. When it drops off, that's when, uh, that's when I'll be just uh, grabbing my second battery. Now let's open up this beauty. Let's see what's inside there. Uh, let's see. Had it open a little bit today. Have, I put some tape back on it so nothing would fall out. Oh, yeah. What is in here? Oh. Oh. I got myself a six inch, six inch wide by a 36 inch long uh, cleanup sluice. But um, I will use it for different cleanups. But it's not the, uh, ah, let me, just a minute, let me get this, let me cut this, I only have two hands, be right back. All right, so here it is. Kind of takes up my whole table here. So, I seen uh, Flower Gold Wizard um, had one of these uh, in um, two videos back, or give or take. And I noticed this on here, and I thought, huh, does that come included, or um, did uh, Jason put that on? But when you when you buy it, uh, this comes already glued on. Uh, this um, corner piece of aluminum will give you uh, um, some strength in this, so you don't have it uh, bowing, um, which is nice. Um, and yeah Whew. can't wait to use this sucker um i might have to get a hold of uh in an infinity prospect and i was wondering if uh maybe i could paint this i don't really like that it's see-through um i think it's kind of hard to see if you have gold but you have the uh the v mat up here this is your indicator but uh so it comes with a, uh, a bracket on the top and um, some place to uh, put a, uh, a barbed end on here so, you, so I can stick my hose on here. Damn knife. Comes with some uh, directions on how to run this. Probably, uh, probably kind of what angles to maybe start at and uh, maybe water flow or something I'm not quite sure um, I bought one of these just a little bit over a, a year ago but it was it was the one that is half the uh, width uh, and I gave it to a buddy of mine uh, maybe you all know him uh, Jeff with uh, Jeff's Midwest Gold Adventures <laughs> that's that's the name I always forget um, so I'm going to use this for uh, cleanup. Um, I do have a uh, homemade, uh, I do have a homemade multi-sluice, uh, gold hog multi-sluice. Um, it's six inches wide, just like what I got here today. Um, and I'll use that again, but it's all about new technology. And that's what, that's exactly what this is. I've, uh, I've wanted to... I wanted to buy one for me last year, and I was going to do it. But buddy, buddy of mine said that he he wanted to get one and wanted to know if we would go in uh, halvesies. And I just thought it's not that much. You need a, a Christmas present, so that's what he got last year for me. Um. So there's a there's a guy out there and. If you're not subscribed to him, you probably should be. He's been on YouTube forever. Um, I don't know him personally. Uh, you know, I'm just like anybody else. I'll leave comments, and I usually get comments back. Uh, but this gentleman's name is, is Sluice Lee. And I want to say he's in South Carolina. Don't 
Uh, don't uh, prosecute me if I picked the wrong state. But uh, I was on his channel here. Uh, he made a YouTube short, and I seen a uh, something that he was running, and it just it just piqued my interest, and I wanted to give it a try. Um, they they have like a a, a bucket sluice, and uh, what he's doing is um, he has he has a bucket, five gallon bucket, and he cuts a slot on the bottom of it. Uh, and the, the, the slot, uh, empties into a sluice and he has a bilge pump that's filling the bucket up. So the bucket's always full of water and he has a classifier kind of like, uh, uh, I, I think it's commercial made. I don't think he's made, I don't think he's made it himself, but it's kind of like classifier that, uh, flower gold, uh, wizard uses. It sinks down into the bucket of ways. Um, and it um, sits on the top lip. So he'll shovel into that once or twice, classify, dump the rocks, puts a classifier back in the bucket, shovels into it again, classifies, so on and so forth. And that, that uh, the material that uh, runs through the classifier um, drains down through the bucket, drops into the sluice. I just thought that was a real cool idea. Um, I probably could have used um, I got multiple little projects, uh, I could have used, uh, multiple, uh, little sections of sluice and glued up some gold hog mat, but I wanted this VDR mat, and it's, the big one is six inches wide, and it's, it's, uh, I'd have to put it on the scale, I bet you it's probably maybe about, it's maybe about five pounds, maybe it's six, anyhow, um, here in the next couple weeks, I'm uh, I'm gonna get this set up. The nice thing I think is one, it's just it's just something that gets me thinking. You know, uh, it's gonna be lightweight. Um, and now that I got those uh, lightweight batteries, um, after I get everything config configured, I think I can pack in lighter than my. Uh, mini sluice that is six inches wide, but there's a lot of aluminum. Whew. All right. So when I get this all done, I'll be in the creek running it. And hopefully everything works uh, out. I'll show you uh, how the setup is, and um, hopefully it works pretty good. Uh, main reason I'm building this is it's going to be a few pounds lighter than my smallest high banker. All right. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in the creek.